What's up guys, welcome to episode 15. We're still in lockdown and we're over it. We can't even go anywhere. We can only go 10 kilometers from the house. We've missed three trips. One snow and then the other one was tropics. Yeah, and then we missed a third camping trip back in that other episode and we're just, we're just losing our brains at home. Mm. We know we're not alone. We know the rest of the world has been suffering. We've actually had it pretty easy most of the time, but we are suffering this time. In Australia, it seems to be going worse. The rest of the world sort of getting back to normal and we're still struggling. But despite all that, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, even though we're in lockdown. The funny thing is, we just found ourselves just staring at the map of New South Wales, just absolutely desperate to go somewhere. And there's also only so much tying up and gardening you can do. Before we knew it, we were back at the map. Dreaming about those places we used to go camping at all the time. Then back to the mundane and that pendulum between doing chores and dreaming about places on the map. So the only thing we can do is bushwalking and we love bushwalking but we've done all the tracks. But what we really want to do is go fishing or four-wheel driving. Then luckily for us, let's have a light bulb moment. And it was all about Google Earth. We always use Google Earth to find cool camping spots, but we've never used it to find cool places in our neighbourhood. So the solution was simple, use Google Earth to look for a fishing spot or a four-wheel drive track within the lockdown radius. I then partitioned the 10 kilometre radius into different segments, then zoomed in further to look at each segment individually. Then what we found was a real surprise. There was heaps of stuff around here that we did not know about. Within a few hundred metres we found four potential fishing spots, a four-wheel drive track and a walking track. And we found similar things in other segments. So for us, this is an absolute game changer. Yeah, we found all of these cool spots. So we've got p potential fishing spots, we've got mountain bike tracks, yeah, uh, yeah. four-wheel drive tracks, lots more walking tracks, which is great for us. And they're all within, we're legally allowed to go to them. So within yeah, that 10, 10 kilometer radius, radius, so it's, it's great. So you guys can do this too. All you have to do is go on Google Earth and look for cool spots in your neighborhood. I can guarantee you'll find at least one cool spot. Yeah, so even if you live in an urban area, there's probably still sort of walking tracks and, yeah. and just they'll, they'll be you'll be surprised there's stuff around i mean even where we are we're sort of mixture between the bush and, and an urban area but even in the urban areas we we found some pretty cool stuff like there's a really big netball uh set yeah. of netball courts near us which we didn't even know was there so yeah. we can just go for a skate around there just just things like that you'll be surprised what you can find so our weekends are going to be way more different yeah so hopefully we won't be every single weekend just doing gardening yeah. tidying up just essentially killing time which is what we've been doing now for a while so we've got all these spots to check out so ch check out the next episode so that will follow on that will be part b to this one and we'll go and ground truth some of these some of these spots so i suppose one thing to bear in mind though is that it it may not materialize we've just looked at it on google earth and those images are, are a few years old so like the creeks uh, or the water holes might not have a lot of water in so whether they're going to be good fishing spots or not that may or may not be the case or they might be too sort of far down the valley and, and we might be on have to get down a cliff line to get to them things like that or i suppose another issue that we might see is some of the walking tracks or the four-wheel drive tracks whether we yeah. can actually access those they might have a gate across but look it's going to give, give us something to do and it's, it's in the neighborhood so we're allowed to do that we'll be compliant uh with the regulations so for us, it's a game changer. So tune in to the next episode to see what these spots are really like. So I hope we've given you some inspiration from lockdown. It may not be that bad, it's pretty rubbish, but at least there's something to do. It'll definitely get us out of the garden. So give us a thumbs up, that'd be great. So hit that like button, even better to hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. And make sure to follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you in the bush next episode. See you guys. See you, butlers. See ya.